By now, you've probably heard that to slow the COVID-19 pandemic, people need to adopt social distancing measures, including remaining at least six feet apart from anyone they encounter outside their own homes. The reason we need to maintain this kind of distance from each other at all is because of how easily the microbe responsible for the coronavirus spreads between people. It can theoretically remain viable in aerosols for three hours, can be transmitted through contaminated surfaces, and it easily spreads through coughing and sneezing. The six feet of distance is designed to act as a roadblock to the aerosolized and droplet methods of transmission. However, that standard is best understood as a reference point, not a hard line beyond which you are absolutely protected. When moving around outdoors, six feet is a good minimum distance at which to pass other people. In indoor settings, like an aisle of a grocery store, it is an absolute minimum. Six feet is the average distance that respiratory droplets from a sneeze or cough travel before they settle and are no longer likely to be inhaled by other people. Proper social distancing doesn't mean just keeping the minimum distance, but thinking about how the need to maintain that distance affects others around you. You should indeed try to keep the distance even when passing someone on the street. It may be possible in certain settings for people to interact as long as they maintain significant social distancing. Standing six feet apart while chatting for an extended period of time should be fine as long as the other person is not outwardly ill. This distance allows any inadvertent spittle to settle on the ground before reaching the other person, reducing the likelihood of asymptomatic transmission. However, not everyone is sure that the six foot measure is enough for non-outwardly ill people. SARS-CoV-2 can potentially be spread via tiny aerosols, which can stay suspended in air for longer periods. If that's the case, particles could potentially travel more than six feet before drying out. What's more, even large droplets of mucus expelled with extreme force or carried by the wind can travel farther than six feet before falling. So what's the takeaway? The best way to ensure your safety is to stay indoors as much as possible. Step out as needed for responsible trips to collect food and medicine or, if possible, brief exercise in low-density outdoor spaces. Homemade masks, regular hand washing, and other steps may help reduce the risks of COVID-19 transmission if you must venture out. But the only real surefire way to prevent yourself from getting infected is staying indoors and away from other people.